Good morning, Sunnyside family. Happy Monday to you. My name is Anita Azari, and I'm a member at Sunnyside Christian, jumping in to help with the D1 devotions. Today we're looking at Acts chapter 21. If you've been participating with us, you are well aware of how D1 works, but if you're just joining us, I'll remind you that D1 is a simple but effective devotion method where you look at one chapter on any given day, you dissect out one verse from that chapter that speaks to you in particular, you have one thought about it, and then you share it with one person and you have one prayer. So that's what we're going to do today regarding chapter 21. Chapter 21 continues to be just as dramatic and intriguing um, as the, the rest of the book of Acts is. Um, Paul is coming across, uh, or he's seeking out other Christians everywhere he goes, and they're meeting his physical needs, they're fellowshipping together, but his final destination is Jerusalem. Um, and early in the chapter, a prophet comes along to warn Paul about uh, some, about basically being, he's going to be arrested in Jerusalem. Um and I'll let you know what Paul has to say about that in a minute. Um, he does continue on to Jerusalem, and he gets together with the, the church leaders there. Uh, the church leaders let him know that the rumor mill has been going uh, nonstop, and people are unhappy. They're um, being told that Paul is teaching against the traditions um, of the Jewish faith, um, and people are in a big tizzy. So things go from bad to worse for Paul, and um, I like the way he handles himself. Um, if you haven't got a chance to read the chapter, read it in its entirety, because uh, he's a class act, um, I I'd have to say. But the verse that stuck out for me is up in 13. Paul replied, talking about the people who had heard the prophet letting him know that he was going to be likely going to be detained, arrested, or worse in Jerusalem. And they were urging him, don't go, don't go. This is clearly a sign from God, don't go. Paul replied, why are you doing this? Why are you weeping and breaking my heart? I'm already not only to be arrested, but even to die in Jerusalem for the sake of the name of the Lord Jesus. So it's clear from that verse that Paul was on board with what was going to be happening in Jerusalem. He had a some sort of insight that things were going to not go well. And he said, why, why are you freaking out about this? I, I am ready to even die in Jerusalem for the sake of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that got me thinking, what am I willing to do? What are you, insert your name, Anita, willing to do for the sake of the name of the Lord Jesus? And right now, we, we feel like we're being asked to do extraordinary things um, at the direction of, of others. So... This is a good time, for me at least, it's a good time for me to pause and stop and ask myself some hard questions. What are you, Anita, willing to do for the sake of the name of the Lord Jesus? Um, maybe you have that same thought. Maybe now is a good time for you to take, to take inventory, as many of us are during this season. Um, I'm anxious to see your comments in the chat. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Let's take a, uh, a moment to pray. Lord Jesus, we just are so grateful for this moment in time when we're all looking at the same portion of your scriptures and we're all uh, earnestly seeking out the wisdom and knowledge that you would have for us. Today, I pray especially for those who do not know you yet, um, that those of us that do know you, that we're willing to go to them in whatever medium you have for us and to let them know about the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Um, and I just pray for all of the um, 
Sunnyside Christian family, as well as um, other extended family members, that you would just be with us, guide us, and direct us. I pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hope you guys have a great day. Let me know your thoughts. Take care.